Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to create a pop-up menu which is not located on the toolbar, but rather somewhere else on the screen. When we click on these three dots, it's going to appear and it's going to have icons and a title and it's going to open a website, which works. And the second option is going to show a toast. It's not as simple as it may seem because showing the icons requires some advanced Java stuff or rather Kotlin stuff, but Kotlin is interoperable with Java, so there is no problem with that. So let's create a new Android project and make sure that you have Kotlin support ticked on. Then we want to proceed through next and next, and we want to select empty activity to be our main activity. First, let's open activity main layout file and open app. Res, uh, drawable, and we want to paste an icon here. This is just some nice image which happens to be the Reso Coder logo. So we just paste it in here and now inside activity main layout file, we want to create an image view. Width will be 100 dp and height will be also 100 dp. This is just the logo so it's not necessary to do this if you want just the pop-up menu obviously. Source, so src is the logo. And we are inside a constrained layout, so we want to put constraints to this view. Alright, now let's import three vector drawables. So right click on drawable, we want to create the new vector asset, click on this Android icon, and we want to search for more vertical, then message, and finally public. Alright, now let's create another image view, with and height will be wrap content this time. The source is going to be more vertical and let's constrain even this view. The image view with three dots should have an ID and this is going to be image view options. All right, now we should create a menu. So right click on res. We want to create a new directory menu. Now right click on the directory menu and we want to create a new menu resource file. Its name will be menu main. And now we want to proceed with OK open up the text and we want to create a menu item its id will be menu open website title will be open website and icon will be ic public black and as you can see even inside the designer it doesn't want to show the icon but we will sort it out later and then another item with id menu show toast the title will be show toast and the icon will be message all right, now let's get to the main activity Kotlin file. And inside on create, we want to set on click listener for image view options. And we want to set it in the form of lambda. And we want to create an immutable variable pop up menu, which is equal to new pop up menu. And let's select the one from Android support v7 library. And we want to pass in a context, so this activity. And the view to which we should anchor it is the image view options, so we want to pass in an implicit parameter it. Now on this pop-up menu, we want to set on menu item click listener. For clarity purposes, we aren't going to use the implicit it parameter, but we are rather going to create an explicit parameter with name item. And when item dot item id is r dot id dot menu open website, we want to create an intent. The intent action is action view, all right, and the URI is URI.parse, and we want to parse HTTP colon slash slash resocoder.com. Now we want to start an activity with this intent, and we should also return a boolean, so true in this case. When the item ID is menu show toast, we want to write toast.make text. Context is this activity, the text is showing toast. And the duration is toast.length long. And then we want to show the toast. And we also want to return true from this when statement. If it's something else, so basically if we have some kind of a bug, we want to simply return false. And now the last thing that we technically need to do here is pop up menu.inflate. And we want to inflate r.menu.menu main. And actually we also need to call pop up menu.show. And this should be it, right? So let's test this app inside an emulator. So here we are and let's click on these three dots. And as you can see, we have a bit of a problem. The icons are not showing. Everything is working fine though, so if you don't want the icons, you can leave it as that. 
but let's get back to code and we want to be safe from exceptions so try and we are going to delve into the world of reflection first we want to get filled with declared name and popup from the class popup menu so val field and popup is equal to popup menu we want to get its java class and we want to get the declared field with name and popup so now we have the declared field this field and popup is not public so we cannot normally access it because of that we need to set is accessible on this field so field and popup is accessible to be true so far so good we have the declared field now we want to get the field and popup from the popup menu object because remember this is not the actual field this is just the description of the field to get the actual object which is inside m popup field we need to operate on an instance of the popup menu class so what's actually inside the m popup field is going to be contained inside val m popup and we are going to get it by calling field m popup which is the declared field not the actual value inside the field and we want to get this field from an object popup menu this popup menu is what we created up here i know it might be a bit overwhelming but there's really not a simpler way to do this this m popup field is of type menu popup helper inside this class there is a method called set force show icon which we want to get so m popup we want to get its java class and from it we want to get declared method with name set for show icon and it can accept one argument of type boolean so boolean class java and now we want to call this method which is otherwise known as invoking the method and the actual object on which we want to invoke this method is mpopup which is the field we got from the popup menu object and we want to pass in true for the boolean because we want to forcefully show these icons right all right and now catch we want to catch exception e and if such thing happens we want to lock error so lock e the tag is going to be main for example the message is going to be error showing menu icons and we are going to also pass in the exception now we are showing the pop-up menu only if nothing unexpected happens inside this try statement however even if something happens inside here it's not a tragic thing the menu is still usable it just doesn't display icons this means that we want to show the menu regardless if something happens inside the try statement and the catch runs so we want to put a finally clause here and we want to show the pop-up menu there all right so let's run this one more time and let's test it and it works so open website works just fine it should open resocoder.com which it does and let's go back and let's test the show toast and it works also so that is cool and also the icons are showing so this is definitely amazing if this tutorial helps you to create an awesome pop-up menu which is located somewhere else than on the toolbar hit the like button and also share this video if you don't want to miss more videos like this subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you aren't going to miss any of my new videos to get the code from this tutorial click on the link in the video description which is gonna take you to resocoder.com if you have any suggestions or questions leave them in the comments follow me on social media and see you in the next video